All right, well, thank you all for being here. So, hello. I'm going to take my, my opportunity chat hat off and I'm going to put my team training hat on. You see it? You see that? Different hat, different hat. Um, so y'all, it's Tuesday and I can't believe it, but it's the 25th of the month, which is where did January go? Anyone else feeling like they don't know where January went? <laughs> Okay. Okay. Not just me. I feel, I feel a little bit better. Okay. So let's run through some like really quick, um, uh, like housekeeping, uh, company update things. So number one, dreamy vanilla Musk goes away next Tuesday. I know y'all know that I'm, I'm not telling y'all anything y'all don't know, but I did want to just shout it out in case you, um, needed the memory jogger because I, I definitely did. I did a post, I think in my customer group over the weekend. Uh, put it out there like, hey, I'm going to do another order if there's anybody who wants it. Um, we've got PZ TV next Tuesday at seven o'clock Eastern. And that's where we're going to start getting some decor. You know, I don't think we do know what the new Hope fragrance is yet, Lucinda. I'll have to look back at that catalog. Um, yep. I'm, I'll look back at the catalog, but I don't, I don't think I saw what it was. Um, they, maybe they're not telling us, um, but it'll be, it'll be good to find out what it is. So yeah, we got PZ TV. So they're going to show us like, we got a little bit of decor, but we're going to get a lot more decor next Tuesday. So that'll be really, really exciting. I know for me, like we've finally already put, like we've put all the Christmas stuff away finally, um, like last weekend, so just recently, and now I'm ready to just bring out some some new decor. I'm kind of over like the wintry stuff. Um, so yeah, so now let's just let's just jump into the training because I have some good stuff to share, and I'm so glad that I'm recording this because I know there are people who absolutely will benefit from this training. Um, so tonight we're talking about consistency. So I put the poll out on the group you know, with different topics. And that one got the most votes, which was surprising to me, but maybe not, maybe not surprising, um, but it was a little surprising. So um, I started thinking about, okay, well, what am I gonna say? <laughs> I'm like, uh, I don't have a training in my back pocket for consistency. I've got a training in my back pocket for a lot of things, but not this thing. So um, I first started thinking about like, well, why do we wanna be consistent? And so um, number one, it helps you achieve your goals faster. So I think about pink sapphire, really good example. Um, if you have the goal to, to be a pink sapphire, then having consistent sell, sales um, just helps you plan out how you're going to get there. So yeah, it absolutely helps, helps you with your goals. It helps you create a momentum, um, especially if you're trying to... Um, increase your sales, it's already good to have like that strong base of sales. You can always add, add more to it. Um, here's, here's one that is exciting. It helps you have more consistent income. People will say, oh, direct sales is not consistent income. And in theory, it's not because it's commission-based. But if you have a plan to consistently sell a certain amount, then you almost know, well, I can count on this much in commission each month because my business is set up to sell on average this month, every month, this much every month. Um, and then Jason, because I asked him, he said, um, it keeps you excited. And I was like, say more about that. And he said, well, if you're consistent, then you're meeting new people. And so you're constantly sharing. And that's what's fun about it. I don't know if y'all have ever felt like, oh, I'm not really having fun. And I have absolutely over the last nine years had maybe more than a handful of times where I'm like, I'm just not having fun. And what gets me re-excited is sharing Pink Zebra with someone new. And so if we're consistently meeting new people and sharing Pink Zebra, then it does, it keeps it fresh and exciting. So I totally get that. I'm glad I asked him because I, I mean, I, all my notes are in purple, but I wrote that in black because I was writing with a different pen when I talked to him. Um, okay. So how do we do it? How do we build consistency? So number one, we got to show up for our business and that 
seems easy, right? Like we, okay, we say, oh, I'm doing this. I'm showing it for my business. Um, but I'm learning that it's not always easy to show up for our business. Um, there's, we got a lot of things going on in life. Um, we have priorities outside of Pink Zebra. Uh, we have, I don't, I, mean, I don't want to say like mental health struggles, um, but yeah, sometimes, sometimes we have those feelings that keep us from wanting to take action. I can totally, I mean, I think Vicki and I were talking about that over the weekend, just um, knowing we need to do something, but like not doing it. And I, I've been there. Um, so it's going to take commitment. We've got to set goals. And that's nothing new. I talk, I feel like I talk about goals like every single time I'm training. It doesn't matter what I'm training on. Goals are kind of weaved into all of it. But here's what's really um, important to becoming consistent. I say break down your goals into weekly chunks. You can eat an elephant one bite at a time. Um, so break them down. So if your goal is, you know, eight parties in a month, you're probably not going to do all those in one week, unless, unless you're a glutton for punishment. Um, but you might say, okay, I can do two a week, two parties a week. Um, if your goal is a thousand dollars in sales volume every month, you might not do all that in one week, but you might say, okay, well, I'm going to focus on 250 each week. Um, you're going to want to set a schedule or I'm going to say, or because not everyone has set schedules. Um, there was a time early on in my direct sales life that I didn't have a set schedule when I worked at the grocery store. Some days I worked seven to three, some days I worked 11 to seven, some days I worked three to 11. And I had to figure out, you know, how to weave my business um, throughout my, my schedule. So if you don't have a set schedule, if setting a, a schedule to say Mondays at six, I do this, if you can't do that, then what you need to do is you need to commit to how many hours you're actually going to devote to your business that week. So maybe you can't say Mondays at six, Tuesdays at four, but you can say, all right, over the next seven days, I've got three hours, five hours, whatever it is you have. The next thing that you've got to do is make a plan. So if your goal is that thousand dollars in sales volume and you're going to, you know, sell 250 a week, how are you going to do that? Do you have um, parties on your calendar? Do you have vendor events? Do you have um, social selling activities lined up? Do you have an open house? What, what's your plan? And with that, you're gonna have, you're gonna need to create some habits. So one of those habits will be talking to people. <laughs> um, you've got to, you know, you can't have a party until you book a host and you can't book a host until you ask some people about having a party. The next thing you have to be willing to pivot. So I was talking to Jason about this part and I'm like, you know, um, just because we say 250 a week is our, our goal to hit that thousand. What if you have a party that doesn't turn out how you thought it would, doesn't turn out great. That doesn't mean that you can't hit that goal for the month. That just means you've got to pivot and you've got to figure out something else to do um, one of those other weeks in the month. Vicki and I also talked about front loading. Did we not on Saturday or did I totally? Miss? Okay. So um, that's a, a ninja bonus tip that was not even in this. I just literally thought about it. Front loading your calendar the first through the 15th, um, booking as many of those parties, events, open houses, whatever it is that you're doing, whatever your income producing activity is, having it those first 15 days of the month. So that if something needs to reschedule, you've got time the back half of the month. Um, that just, that's, ugh, that's so smart. I learned that a million years ago, you guys. And it's genius. Um, and if you have a crazy, crazy ambitious goal, because let's face it, sometimes we find ourselves in positions where it's like, we need to do more than we've ever done because we're trying to hit a goal. And if you focus really hard on, on filling that first half of the month with business activity, then you still have a whole nother half of the month to do more business activity. If, if your goals require that, like I think about last February when I was trying to earn the incentive trip to Aruba, 
and I needed, you know, that month I needed about $7,300 in sales. Well, I had parties on my calendar and I was doing okay, but we got to the last three days of the month. You guys don't do this. Do not put yourself in this position, but the last three days of the month, I had to sell like $4,400. Don't do that. <laughs> don't put yourself in that position. Okay. Um, the last, how do we do it tip is just focusing on income producing activities. So we can get, you know, real caught up on having, you know, the cutest samples and working on happy mail um, and making graphics and all those things that don't make us any money, but really keep us very busy. And that's, that's not going to help you necessarily get to your goal. Samples are only good in the hands of someone who can use them and make a purchase from you. So I'd really encourage you to focus on your income producing activities first. Um, that's the most important thing before you go crazy buying cute bubble mailers and packaging stickers and all those things. Go, go fill your calendar with stuff, parties, events. And I'm talking as if we're not in the middle of a pandemic. Um, but you can still do virtual parties regardless. Um, you might not be doing open houses and in-person parties right now. You might not be doing vendor events right now, but um, fill your calendar with those, those opportunities to sell. And then go make your samples and buy your cute stickers. <laughs> um, so the last section of the training is working smart, but also working hard and not working hard because this business is hard. This business is simple, um, but working hard as in like committing and putting in your best effort and kind of um, just treating your business like a business. I don't know if I've ever said this, said this out loud before, but if you want to get paid like it's a business, then you do have to treat it like a business. If you treat it like a hobby, it will pay you like a hobby. So the first tip is to take advantage of training resources. So if you're watching this, you're already doing that. Yay. Um, there's, ugh, there's so much training. Um, that is the only reason, cause I used to go live, you know, every single Monday night in our group. And the only reason I have felt comfortable not doing that is because Pink Zebra is providing a lot more training than they used to. So, um, for one thing we have, um, the Sapphire Seekers group where there is training pretty much every single week. There is Pink Zebra Academy. There's just always something. Dana's got her team call once a month. And so I have felt like it's okay for me to not go live or provide a training every single week because there's a lot of other opportunities. And we all know that there are people outside of the company who are really awesome and can teach us things. Amanda Todd, Brenda Stirr, Lynn Bardowski, Rachel Perry. Um, who am I forgetting anyone else? I feel like those are kind of like the big ones. Um, I probably I probably follow Amanda and Lynn Bardowski, Million Dollar Party Girl, probably the most. Obviously, Amanda the most most. Um, Lynn close second. Um, but yeah, all these all these resources. There's just. And then there's YouTube. There's our YouTube channel that I was scrolling through the other day, looking at a lot of really old videos that I was like, oh, I, I made this a long time ago. Blenda Ellsworth. Thank you. Thank you, Michelle. Blenda Ellsworth. I forgot about her. Um, so yeah, that's like five people. That's five people, not a part of Pink Zebra who love to teach people like us really cool things about our business. Uh, the next thing I'll say, especially, okay, if you're doing parties, double book yourself. Um, now I don't mean book two parties at the exact same time and then, you know, stress out about how you're going to go live in both places at the same time. Although technology, there's probably a solution, but what's the harm in having a Facebook party at eight o'clock and another one at nine? If you're already working your business that night, there's no harm. I've definitely done it before. Um, and as my calendar starts to fill up with this new catalog, I probably will be doing um, more parties at the, at the same time, it just, that's just an easy way to, to work smart. Um, cause then you don't have to have parties every single night of the week. I don't recommend that. 
The next tip, this is going to sound weird, but I think y'all will know what I mean. And that's just use me. <laughs> um, use me in the sense that um, I'm here to help you with opportunity chats. Um, I have probably, I won't say I've done everything, I'm, I haven't, but I've tried a lot of things and I can absolutely help you if you are struggling in any area of your business, so happy to help. Um, and usually when I get a question, it turns into a training. So it actually helps me help the team um, when y'all ask me stuff. Um, but yeah, feel free to, to reach out. But also, like I said, like use me, um, use my story, use my accomplishments. Um, I think y'all know what I mean. Um, the next is um, batching, B-A-T-C-H-I-N-G. I think I spelled that right. So that means, you know, sitting down with your club pink carton, if you're going to sample it and just making all your samples all at once, instead of, you know, making samples here and there as you need them. Um, Cause that's something that you can do. Like, I know a lot of times I'll make samples like while I'm watching um, Netflix or whatever. Um, that way, I'm not, I prepare all those samples, have them ready to go when it's actually time to send them to someone. The other thing I would say with batching would be like sitting down to make your, if you're going to make graphics, make them, you know, all at one time for the week or for the month. Um, the more things you can do in bulk, the less time it takes overall. If every day you have to get on Canva or pick monkey or Bizart, I think is what Vicky uses. <laughs> Bizart, is that right? Yeah, if you're making a new graphic every single day over the week, that's probably more time than it would take you to just make like seven in one sitting. Uh, trust me. Um, and then the next thing you can batch is like just like your happy meals. Uh, the next working smart and also working hard is scheduling your post. So if you're, I think everyone here has a group, a customer group. Um, I highly recommend, you know, it might take some time to work up to this if you're not already doing this, but if you can schedule your post um, for the month all at one time, then literally you just, you get an alert on your phone every day when it posts. It's so nice because I've been doing that with like, not my product specific posts. Those I, I do a little more on the fly, but my, just my engagement post, I sit down one time schedule them all for the month. Um, and then the next, the last tip on here is to repurpose content. So this video right here has an opportunity chat at the beginning and a training at the end. So what do you think, how many videos do you think are going to show up on my YouTube channel? Two. <laughs> so, um, I'm taking this one video and I'm repurposing it, repurposing it two ways. I'll clean up the, the opportunity video so it's nice and concise, but I'm going to, you know, I, I am who I am, so I won't make myself look perfect or anything, um, but that'll be like a standalone resource. So if, you know, you have someone that really just wants to learn some information and they don't want to wait two weeks for our next opportunity chat, you can go to the YouTube channel, grab the video, and you can share it with them. I can do the same thing. So it's all about repurposing content. So if you go live in your customer group and do an unboxing, why can why would you not um, then download that video, maybe edit it down to a, a small clip and throw it up on your Facebook stories. Um, I have my stories set up that if I post on Facebook stories, it also posts on Instagram. I'm trying to be, I'm trying to be more like trying to do more with stories in general. Um, and where I really struggled was thinking, okay, well, I'm not that interesting every day. <laughs> I don't sh shower every day, just keeping it real. Um, my hair doesn't look nice every day, but I can, I'm going to make myself um, post something on my stories. So maybe it's a motivational quote. Maybe it's um, a video that I'm not even in. Um, but now I can take a chunk of that opportunity chat where I'm sharing something, maybe the part about me, my story, and I can then throw that into my, my Facebook and Instagram stories. So I'm trying to show up 
more in that way. And then I'm just trying to do more on Instagram in general. Um, so yeah, so that's, that's my, my training. Did y'all learn something? Did I help? <laughs> I'm missing um, stuff in the chat. Okay, no, I'm not. <laughs> How do I edit my video? That's a good question. So if the video is on my phone, well, actually the answer is the same. I use iMovie. So let's see, y'all can see it. Um, oh my gosh, that little purple star, iMovie. I also play a game called Project Makeover. Don't judge me. Um, <laughs> but I use that either on my laptop or on my phone to edit videos. So this video that I'm recording, um, it's automatically going to save to my laptop and then I'll download it on my laptop. But if you're using, um, Michelle, you have, do you have an iPhone? You have an Android. Okay, so I think there's an app called Viva Video. Does that sound familiar to you, Vicki? Have you ever used Viva Video? Did I make that up? But then if you are able to get the video on your computer, do you have a Mac computer? Do you have a PC? Just the, hold up a one for Mac and a two for PC. I have a tablet. Oh, you have a tablet. Is it an Android or an Apple tablet? An Android. Okay. So I think... I think Androids operate on the, like the Windows operating system, maybe. So I know on a like a like on a PC, like a Windows computer, there's Windows Media Player, and you can edit that way. We will find you an app. There's there's got to be an app. <laughs> there's an app for that. We will find an app for you. I think, you know, not every, if you don't want to have a YouTube channel, you don't have to have a YouTube channel, but obviously this is going on, on my channel, but just repurposing content in general, super, super duper smart. Um, so it, it takes that live we do in our closed customer group that not everybody can see and it puts it, you know, other places. And there is a way to like save stories. What do they call it? Um, I think on Facebook, it's called highlight, oh, feature, feature. There's a little star on Instagram. I think it's called highlight. So I've actually started doing that. Um, this is going to be a little hard to see, but if you go to my Instagram above my photos, there's those four little circles. Those are essentially like little albums. Um, go get some rest, Vicky. Yeah, so I've got these little, little places. If I decide to highlight any of my stories, I can put them in one of those albums and they live there forever and ever. So I have one called Start Now and that will be like maybe a snippet from this opportunity chat will live in there. I've got Fragrance Fun and that's where I'm just gonna talk about fragrance products. Let's decorate. And then I added a new one called that diva life. And that's like just fun team stuff or just anything fun I do because of my business. Like I have, when we got margaritas that made it in there. So yeah, that's all I have to say. <laughs> We're done with our training. Oh, and I, I got done by nine. I'm so, so pleased.